welcome back to the Evercrafter SMP. I am Rhea, and as you can see, I've been up to quite a bit in between episodes, but I've also done a little bit more. Let me show you. I realized I was going to need a metric butt ton of glass, yellow glass, for my floor in the villager trading area. So I got the perfect enchantments on my shovel, went to go enchant it, put it on with the anvil, and realized, of course, you know, I don't have enough levels. So I had to go off to the ender ender and use the you know, levels there. But of course, as I was doing that, I decided it'd be a really fun idea to just look at a bunch of Endermen and die. Respawned back at home, made it all the way back, got my stuff back, finally started getting my levels, and enchanted my awesome shovel, just so I could go collect a whole bunch of sand. Now I have some housekeeping I want to get up to. Between the first episode I recorded and the episode I'm recording now, I actually changed my name from Miss Two Bits to Rhea. So I wanted to go and fix my mobs on the roof, change their name a little bit. That requires me to get some name tags. And I also needed to name my dogs. I had two suggestions for names, so I'm going to go get some name tags and I'll be right back. A friend of mine in the comments suggested that I name the dogs Jake and Bailey. So we will, uh, we'll name this one Jake, and the little lovely lady up here will be Bailey, and Bailey. I also have a skeleton horse, so if anybody wants to, like, it's out there. If anybody wants to name him, just let me know. And fixed, and fixed. Wait, that's not right. Okay, that's better. Okay, so I know I should work on this, because I hate leaving stuff unfinished, but something else is really bothering me. Look at my armor. This, my helmet's, my helmet's fine. It's just my pants and my shoes, it's literally the items I got straight from the villagers, and I don't even have a chest plate. Or maybe I do, I just don't know where it's at. So, I'm gonna use all of these villagers that I worked so hard to, to get the trades right on, and I'm going to go ahead and get, like, the perfect armor that I, that I like to use. And go off to the Ender Ender and get that set up and then I might go and get some ancient debris because I don't really look good in blue I think the purpley black is the much better fit Breaking mending protection protection mending unbreaking on the pants on the shoes feather falling unbreaking mending protection depth strider and I want to go ahead and do my axe I like to have smite on it since I already have sharpness on my sword unbreaking efficiency mending I think that's everything so I'm gonna go and enchant all of my stuff and finally, so I can stop dying every time I try to fall somewhere. Oh, oh I think there's an add-on on here. These guys aren't too loud. Hold on. Where you can throw your elytra and your... Oh, maybe I have to throw it right on top. On top of... Okay. Ah, see? Armored Elytra, so now I can stop falling and dying all the time. It's an add-on on here, and I absolutely love it. So I have these extra pieces. They're not in great condition, but I think I'm going to take them to spawn and leave them in the community center so that when people start the game, if they just happen to need something for, you know, the time being, it'll help them out. But other than that, I think I'm looking good. So now on my to-do list, um, I broke the anvil over at the end so I'm going to make a new one and drop that off, come back home, make a new, I'm going to make a couple and just put them in the barrels beside it because I kind of feel bad. Even though I'm sure everyone on here has an iron farm. I just want to be good. And then I'm going to drop, I'm also going to drop off that extra gear over at spawn. I think I have a couple chest plates over there I can drop off too. Because I'm not going to use them and I don't want to throw them away. And then I would like to go ahead and get some netherite. Now I say get like it's going to be easy. But I'm terrified of using TNT and beds in the nether, so I just do tunnels. So I guess we'll just see how it goes. And there we are. Put the extras in here. Hopefully if anybody needs them, they can just grab it. There we are. And maybe there's one for wep weapons or tools. There we go. No, it's food. So I'll put it in the weapons area. And now it's time to get some netherite. One eternity later. Nope. Uh-uh. Taking way too long. I'm almost positive there's someone selling it in spawn. So I'm gonna go to 
the spawn town and find out if I can how much it is like so I can maybe buy some if it's more expensive then I'll just get back to that and maybe I'll bring some beds but we shall see I found the shop but alas there are no none in stock so I guess it's back to the grind first however I will upgrade these two maybe as well i've made the decision to try the bed thing i'm gonna a shulker box and a half of them we're gonna see if this works any better i'm scared very scared this is the first time i've actually ever done it so it's thank you so <laughs> you put a bed down block in front of you and well, that's not too bad I guess I'll do this for a bit and see if I am a little more successful well I decided to just go around and take my pickaxe and go and ended up with I think the rest I'm gonna need so I have it all on me smelted so one, two, three. Yeah, I should be able to do everything except for the chest plate that's built into this. Oh, I do have one left. Let me figure out how to get the chest plate off. Hold on one second. Now that I have all my tools and armor worked out and full netherite, I think I'm going to go ahead and get back to working on my villager trading hall. All right, so many, many hours later, I'm finally done. And I cannot wait to show you because I'm super proud of it. Some things I didn't include in the time lapse, but I want to show you them anyway. So I made a whole cave. It's like a whole experience now. So you go down in here, close this behind you to be nice. And there's a nice little tunnel with my villager breeder over here so that, you know, I can still have the babies if I need them. Switch hidden so that I can... Turn it off and on. It's off right now because I am done for the time being. Just a little bit of hidden lighting. This will eventually get covered by vines. But other than my ender chest, here we are. It goes all the way down. I had to do a bit of uh, pushing back this wall here. But I've got all the villagers I could want for now all at the best trades. Room for some more in case I want to do something else. And I decided not to put a nether portal here because I just I don't want you know when they come people come to my area to just come into my trading hall that's not that's not what they want to see but everything's done floors put in all the walls are up my villagers are set and I am one happy camper so that is going to do it for me in this episode I thank you so much to everyone that stuck around and watched the whole video if you'd please give it a like that would make me super happy I put a lot of time into this I know I've had a lot of time lapses in this episode but I'm going to put one more of me and my friends and are working on her very beautiful, very symmetric face. Anyway, thanks again, everyone. Bye-bye for now.